Well, hello everyone. It is Wednesday, which means it is time for Top 5 Wednesday. And Top 5 Wednesday was created by Ginger Reads Laney, and this week's topic is quite a unique one. It is our Top 5 Favorite Videos we've done, and they don't necessarily have to be book related. So I was kind of like going through my YouTube and everything and seeing what videos I liked. Um, I also realized kind of how hard I am on myself sometimes because sometimes I watch a video and I'm like, you know, I did pretty good on this one. And other times I kind of wonder why I even have subscribers at all. So these are just kind of randomly picked because some of them are redos and honestly looking back sometimes certain aspects of the original video I liked better but like there were things wrong with it or whatever and I redid it so starting at number five is not a redo at all I did this once and I like it because it's just a basic overview it was Halloween, it was something fun to do, and honestly, I like the way I look in that video. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie about it. And that is my horror movie suggestion video from like a year or so ago. I don't, I don't think it was last year, I think it might have been the year before. Before that. And yeah, that was just a fun video to do. At number four. I have my review of Tori Amos's Boys for Pele album. It's a CD I love. I love talking about it. I'm working on my reviews and trying to make them interesting and you know because the whole point of reviews is to give people information on it especially if you really love it and you really think more people should watch it, read it, listen to it, whatever. Um, I thought I did really good on that one. I think it was one of my better reviews. Probably just because I was talking about something I really enjoyed listening to. Something I felt that was really a piece of musical art. And it was just fun to do. And I was told I'd look more relaxed and everything. So I just love that one. At number three. This one is an actual top five Wednesday video. It is long. And if you watch it, it may bore the hell out of you. But I enjoy doing it because if you watch this channel, you know I am a big fan of this series and everything. And I love doing this topic. It was one of the very first few top five Wednesdays I've ever done. And that was the top five moments from the Hunger Games. I just kind of went on this long like description about these scenes and what I liked about them and you know, why I thought these were the best, you know, in the books and everything, and yada, yada, yada. It's long, as I said. It's basically pictures with me talking, but I enjoyed it, because I enjoyed the series. So I enjoyed getting to talk about something that, you know, interested in me. Oh my god, my hair is so fluffy. I need to use enough conditioner, and I'm just seeing it in, in this video now. So, at number two, number two is a redo, and honestly, I like aspects of both this redo and the original, and that is, the original was called Sanatana Dharma, or in parentheses, Hinduism. The redo is called, um, I believe it's called What I Know About Hinduism. I'll try to link everything down below. So, what I liked about the original video is I'm just sitting there talking about Hinduism, giving these information and giving information and everything, just you know, with a cup of coffee and everything, just talking and just giving knowledge and everything. But the thing was, a lot of people say I was like swaying too much, I sounded too like low or whatever. I don't know. I also kind of got a lot of comments from people online that were just kind of being mean to. But some people gave some kind of construction, constructive, constructive, oh my god, criticism. And so I tried to redo the video where I'm just kind of like sitting down and talking about kind of basically the same information 
that I was before. And I do like that video. The only problem is the audio, the quality was better than the original. Because I think I actually would use uh, like a regular camera, camcorder, where it's a newer one was on my old laptop. So I guess number two is kind of like, you know, a two for there. Like you can watch the original or the redo. I, I enjoyed doing both of them because I love talking about spirituality and different beliefs. So at number one is a poem I did. I originally recorded it on my phone and then I put images using like the movie maker and everything. And it's just something that came from a very like personal time and everything. And then, you know, I just kind of took things off my mind by just doing the images and everything. And the audio is not very good, but I think it really brought out the emotion that I was going for. And that is called um, Rubies from Ivory. I believe I reread it too. So there's two videos on that, but my favorite is the the phone recorded one with the images. So that is my top five Wednesday for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.